Welcome to another episode of Honest Straightforward Reviews. Today, I am going to be focusing on a comparison between the SFX Speedster, Mac 319, RX 6800 XT Black, and also the ASRock Tai Chi RX 6800 XT. I'll be first of all going through a video of both the graphic cards side by side, the size and physicalities of it. Please do stay till then because I've done a lot of work and a lot of testing and and I've done 102 tests to get you guys these results. Not to include the tests I've done for the temperatures on stock settings and fans and also overclocking. So first of all, we'll get into the physicality, then we'll move on to the temperatures and fans and boost clocks and things like that. I'll also then be looking at the overclocking of it as well, but I will not be paying too much attention to overclocking as you guys would appreciate. It's based on the silicon that you get and it's a it's part of the luck whatever silicon you get so i'm going to be just doing stock at stock settings and everything like that and i will be uh, doing a video very soon in regards to this silicon and things like that which is called the silicon lottery and i'll be looking deep into that as well please let me know if that's something you guys will be interested in anyway stay till the end because i've got a lot of games covered and in the end i'll be also looking at the msrp and which one is best to buy now straight off let's look at the these two cards guys they're basically the same size given the xfx version is a tiny bit bigger and a, uh, however the asrock one is very aggressive looking now if you look at the aggression level on the tai chi it's very aggressive it's very bold and it's very rgb lighting everywhere it's got that's that's its feature okay whereas the sfx one is more mature it's subtle and it's powerful in that sense looking at it from the top sfx as you guys can see on the sfx logo it's that's the only rgb you'll see on this card whereas the radeon has that thing in the middle which will light up like a christmas tree looking at the back they both have a metal black back plate however the thing that i like about the sfx one which will help with thermals are not only the holes that you guys see to let out more air but also a cutout that'll really keep the card cool under heat now now let's look at the bottom the bottom you can see again they are well constructed absolutely well cooled now looking at the other end of the card one end of the card uh, on my left it looks like something out of Star Wars and on my right it looks like very aggressive very the, the grill look like teeth you know so that's the Tai Chi on my right and also let's look at the other side of it where you have the ports they all have the exact same ports guys they got two hdmi and one display port one usb-c connection there's not much to see here they are both about three card slot cards they're not completely three and they're pretty long i've tried to put the sfx in an egpu as well just to test it out it didn't go in i have i had to leave the e egp out now other than that you'll also notice the two pin and a three pin uh, connection so you'll have a three pin connection for for the Tai Chi whereas the SFX just needs two. Alrighty, let's get into the clock speeds. Now, the reference card has a clock speed of 1825 where both these cards improve on the that by 100 and on the gaming side they also improve by about 95 megahertz. These cards are exactly clocked at the same speed which will be interesting to see in the end and I'll be doing a dollar value if you guys don't want to go through the game skip right through to the end as well you can look at what i've found the averages to be for the gaming and things like that now first things first let's look at stock fan speeds now i've separated it because there was too much information i've made two graphs on one sheet so you can look at both so first of all i've got the reference card sfx and tai chi with the gpu temperature in celsius so the reference card runs a tiny bit hotter than the two aib cards at 77 celsius and the fan speed is a bit higher
high as well. However, what I found was with my SFX was it was a lot quieter, okay? It was a lot quieter than Tai Chi under stress. Now let's look at the noise level. So, so now the noise on the Tai Chi surprisingly was quite high compared to the other two cards. Now moving on to from there, we're looking at the memory clock megahertz and GPU core megahertz, okay? So we're looking at those and we're also looking at the wattage as well. So how much it powers. To my surprise, under its stress, just at stock, everything, the Tai Chi was only pulling 240 watts, whereas the SFX was nearly at 300 watts and the reference was at nearly 280, okay? So that that is that was really, really surprising. And also what I found was the GPU core clock was a tiny bit higher on the Tai Chi as well with the less of a power drain, which was really surprising. Now, let's get into the overclocking and that relative to the fan and noise speed, fan speed and noise. So straight off, let's look at the Tai Chi. The Tai Chi was the hottest, but, but saying the hottest, it wasn't like hottest as in like 100 degrees compared to 50 degrees. It was just like two degrees or three degrees, four degrees more than the other cards. But wh where that made the difference is the fan. So the fan on the SFX just stayed really quiet where it, when it was overclocking and also the noise hence was lower. So here it looks like at overclocking the SFX is a giant for myself. Now let's move on to the wattage. Okay here is where the Tai Chi like really pulls out. It really pulls a lot of power over 358 watts. The SFX was nearly the same. The reference card is a bit lower. However have, in having said that the Tai Chi does have a better memory and clock speed. Now let's get into the benchmarks. So first of all I've got the 3D Mark Time Spy benchmark at 2K and 4K. 4K being in blue there's not much of a difference between the cards at 4K. However when you move on to 2K yes you see the AIB cards outperforming the reference card but there's not much in these two cards. Let's go to Fire Strike benchmark by 3D Mark. Again in 4K there's not too much okay there is an improvement between the cards and the tai chi is coming out ahead both in 4k and 2k and in 2k the tai chi is pulling out a lot further ahead than the reference card now let's look at heaven in heaven 4k again not much in there however 2k both the cards are pulling out ahead by quite a bit now the first game i'll be looking at is metro exodus at 4k again they have six frames on the reference card and then when you move on to a 2k they have about eight seven to eight frames increase which is not much if, if you consider the price we'll look at the price later on how it fares now next game we're looking at is borderlands 3 at 4k surprisingly that to my surprise the sfx did a lot better uh, at 4k and then when you move to 2k again it outperformed the tai chi but here is where i was surprised the tai chi at 2k was beaten by the reference card and the reference card wasn't too far behind the sfx either now let's move on to the next game death trending at 4k again the SFX is beating the other two and the reference card is nearly as good as the Tai Chi to my surprise. When we move on to 2k the reference and Tai Chi there's nothing there and the SFX really pulls out a lot further. Now let's go on to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. At 4k both the AIB cards beat the reference but not by much gain and at 2k to my surprise there was nothing in there. I was really surprised by this. Next game is Warzone. So Warzone here I saw the reference card being really good at 4k okay nearly as good margin of error kind of thing nearly as good as SFX but the Tai Chi was again struggling for some reason in this and I've checked everything they're running on the everything the latest software the latest the same hardware and things like that I don't know why the Tai Chi was struggling so much and at 2k I see the same kind of thing the Tai Chi lags behind but not by much but if you're paying a lot more for the Tai Chi you'd expect better performance Okay, now this the next game we're looking at is Civilization 6. At 4K, the AIBs pull out ahead, but not not by much gain, but at 2K they do pull out a lot further, especially the SFX that gains about 
15 frames on the reference card and about 10 frames on the Tai Chi. To be honest guys, I, I'm so far I'm quite surprised that the Tai Chi isn't doing that good because the Tai Chi I thought would beat the SFX card. Now let's go on to Doom Eternal where the Tai Chi at 4K is again slower than the reference card and a lot slower than the AIB SFX card. Next, let's go on to 2K. At 2K, this is where everything flipped and I was really surprised at Doom Eternal. The Tai Chi at 2K beat the other two cards and by quite a bit, by five frames, which is not bad. But at that high end where you're getting nearly 300 frames, the five frames is not gonna matter a lot. But in saying that, it's beating both the cards. It's beating the SFX. Let's go on to Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Shadow of the Tomb Raider does well again for the Tai Chi card, both in 4K and 2K results. It beats the other two cards. Going on to Horizon Zero Dawn at 4K and 2K, again the Tai Chi pulls out ahead. Especially at 2K, the Tai Chi has about a 7 frame increase on the SFX. When compared to the reference card, it has about 12 frame increase, which is a nice idea to have. This is nice to now see the, the Tai Chi coming through. Now, let's look at Battlefield 5. Now, Battlefield 5, to my surprise, was uh, at 4K, the cards were about the same. However, at 2K, the Tai Chi was beaten by the SFX card. The next game I tested was Control, and this was at full settings. All of these games are played at full second settings at stock drivers and stock settings for the there's no clocking okay overclocking or underclocking and things like that to give it a fair result in regards to the silicon now the tai chi again was beaten by the sfx here both in 4k and 2k next game i'm looking at is division division 2 margin of error there's not much in all of these cards okay in 4k the tai chi pulls out quite a bit ahead by about three frames four frames uh, on the reference card and going on to the 2k result it, there's not much in there guys all right next game we're looking at is the witcher 3 at maximum settings in this game the sfx card does a tiny bit better all right so at 4k it beats out the reference card at about nine frames and when we go to two from 4k we go to 2k it beats it out by a whopping 20 frames and it even beats the tai chi by about 11 frames that's really surprising to see now let's finish the tests and move on to the average of all games all right with an average, looking at an average at 4K, the AIB cards are a tiny bit better than the reference card. However, to my surprise, the SFX overall did a tiny bit better job at 4K. When we move on to 2K, it's the same story. The reference card is beaten by SFX by about eight-ish frames, and it beats out also the Tai Chi by about two-ish frames. Another game that I looked at was Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Now in this game, the the SFX does really well. It pulls out ahead in 4K by about seven frames per second. And when you look at 2K gaming, it pulls out about nine and six on the Tai Chi frames per second. Now, this is the interesting Part, okay this is these are the pricings and I've included a gigabyte 5700 XT just for you guys to see as well so the gigabyte should be selling at about 550 I saw it as low as about 520 before these cards got released last year in around uh, November and but now if you look at the real price of that card it's nearly worth as much as the reference 6800 XT which is bonkers it is crazy the 5700 XT is not that powerful a card when compared to the 6800 XT, but the price is nearly as much as the reference MSRP is. However, when you look at the real world price for the reference card, it jumps up to nearly $1,500, which is the reference price for nearly both the SFX and Tai Chi. This is where the SFX, I think, will be pulling itself out ahead, is the MSRP should be cheaper than the Tai Chi. The Tai Chi MSRP has gone up since I did the review. It should have been at about $1,494. Now it's gone up to 1610 and if we look at the real world pricing they're the same for both cards so what does that mean at 2k gaming cost per frame so let's look at the cost per frame for msrp the tai chi would cost a tiny bit more and also in my tests what it showed the tai chi didn't outperform the sfx so the sfx for 2k gaming would be a better bang for buck however this is where it gets interesting when we go to real world pricing they're about the same 
okay? Yes, the SFX is a tiny bit better for 2K gaming if you can get your hands on that card. Now, let's go on to 4K gaming. 4K gaming is where things get a little bit interesting as well. Again, the, between the cards, the SFX at MSRP is better, but when we move a uh, dollar and four cents better than the uh, Tai Chi, but when we go on to real world pricing, that's where we see the difference at 4K. The SFX again beats the Tai Chi at better bang for your buck. All right, guys, so this is the end of the video. Okay, I do appreciate you guys staying to the end, and this is my final thoughts on both cards. Right now, I appreciate you can't get your hands on either of these cards, okay? So whatever card you can get your hand on, there's not much difference in performance and savings. They're gonna be about the same between the AIBs. But if you can get a reference at MSRP in later on, that's really worth it, guys, especially in 4K or 2K, all right? It nearly halves the price of these cards. However, if you can get MS, if you can, if you're considering just these two cards and you had stock for both, I would go for the SFX any day. It's for myself, I don't, I'm not too big on RGB lighting. I'm not too big on those kind of things. Those are the things you would need to consider. So if you like RGB and things like that, pay a bit more, go for the Tai Chi. If you don't care about that, you care more about bang for your buck and a better card and a better cool card, the SFX I found was a lot better. All right, guys, thanks for watching and thanks for staying to the end.